Hello everyone, how's it going? Today's video is going to be about how to play the private server of WoWmania. First thing you're going to want to do is open your browser and Google search WoWmania. And once you have that pulled up, you just it's probably going to be the very first link on the page. You just want to click on it. <coughs> once it's loaded for you, you're going to be prompted with this uh, main screen and the first thing I'm going to have you do is create an account and you're just going to register and you have uh, terms of use to accept so just agree to that or read it first but I already know what it's all about and then um, you just want to fill out this page here and I'll have a little JPEG in here with what you need in each one uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just clip that in Okay, and the next step from the WoWmania homepage is to download the torrent file for the WoWmania uh, client, which is going to be right here. You can just hit, you can just find the little client button and hit connect. And it's going to take you to a screen that has a link on it. There's some steps here on how to do it, but if you can't figure it out from here, that's probably why you're at this video. But uh. Just want to click on the WoWmania torrent, and once you click that, depending on your browser, it'll start downloading. The next step of the process is to download a torrent program that you'll be able to download the. They'll be able to use to download the file you just downloaded from WoWmania. So they recommend using uTorrent, which I also would recommend. So to get uTorrent, if you don't already have it, you just open your browser and you type uTorrent in the top, like so like that and it'll probably be the first link again if you just click on this it'll take you to the main page and there's a nice little orange button that says get you torrent for windows so you just want to click on that it'll download the file down here like it did the wild mania thing and once that has downloaded you'll click on it it'll it'll bring you to some startup screen it'll tell you to like check a box here check a box there it'll be like you accept the terms, you say yes, if you obviously if you want to use it, you're gonna to have to say yes. And then I think that's it. You just it'll just do some installations and you'll be good to go and you'll be able to use it. Alright. So that's where we're gonna meet up for the next step of this process. Alright, now we are in uTorrent. And I have cleared out everything so that it will be blank. So I can show you from a brand new copy, brand new downloaded uTorrent. So I'm assuming that your downloads goes to your download folder and your PC. And if it does not, you might want to make it. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, Add Torrent. So Or you can just hit, looks like Control O will do it, but this is fine. So click Add Torrent. And you find the torrent, which for me, it happens to be here. And I've already downloaded it a couple times, but we're going to use this one since it looks because you know I just downloaded it, so we'll use it. And you hit open, and um, one of the things that you're going to want to watch for is the save in. If you save it in a folder that's not a Windows directory folder, such as like a Windows C folder, it could prevent you from, um, it could make all the, f the files you need be uh, classified as read, read only. So we're just gonna, I just changed it to put it right in my program's A6 folder. So once you have changed it to this, little program's files, just make sure you have it named what you want it to download, what you want it to download to your file as. It's a 20 gigabyte download, so you know, it, depending on your download speed and your bandwidth, it'll take you a little bit, you know, it'll, if it's, if it's anything like my speed, it'll be like three hours, I would think. Which is not bad by any means, but all right. So you just hit um, I want to say you just hit OK from here, and then it'll bring you to this. And I don't think it's gonna work for me because I already have it. Yeah, I already I already have it. So it's, there's a bunch of like files already with these names and everything. But it should work from here. What did for me pretty well, pretty flawlessly. So yeah, just make sure it's uh, your Windows C directory folder and not like don't put it in back into your downloads folder or like. Don't put it into you, like your documents or like your pictures or whatever. Just put it in the Windows C 
you know what I'm talking about, or whatever it's called for you guys. I'm pretty sure it'll be Windows C. All right, and then the next step is to go find those files that you export from here to your computer. So that's what we're going to go do now. All right, and to find your um, exported files, you just want to click down here on your little file explorer. When you open it, it'll likely bring you to the quick access screen. So when you're here, you're going to want to find the files that got put from your torrent onto your computer as something other than a torrent. So if you took my advice, and you didn't put it in your downloads folder, so it's not in here. I wanted you to put it in the Windows C folder, which is this one right here. And my def I had mine set to default to program files 86. So that's where I put my files. And it ha I named it 123WOW, so it would be at the top of my list. So here it is. And what you're going to want to do at this step of the process is actually uh, make sure... You're going to want to open WoW Mania and uh, find the uh, realmless.w2f file, which is going to be under data engb, and it'll be right down here, or it should. And if it is not, you can just start in the WoW Mania file, which is the very first screen. So, like, just click on this, and then you're in your WoW Mania file. You just type up here, you search. You just literally search realm list and it's right there just, just right there so we're gonna right click it we're gonna check our properties and you want to make sure right down here that it does not have read only checked if it's read only you'll have problems and that's not good you don't want problems so we're gonna open it really fast and if you check the website, the WoW Mania website, it'll have what the realm list is supposed to be. But this is correct. This is what your realm list file should read, like this. It should read like this if you want to connect to the server. So make sure it looks like this. If not, go ahead and change it, resave it, and be good to go. All right, all right. All right, and the next step to actually connect to the WoW Mania client is to go back into your file explorer navigate back to your wild mania client and you're going to want to set a shortcut for the launcher not the wow not the wow exe do the launcher because this is how you should launch the game in order to receive information updates to the server stuff like that it's just helpful to be able to use the client so we just create a shortcut and we just drag that onto the desktop like so and then we click on it and if it's beautiful, it will display like this. Um, actually, it won't display like this. It'll probably um, be a bit different. It'll probably have some downloads because I think the one on the website's a little bit. Uh, needs some. Uh, needs like updates. But anyway, once you open this, you'll have some options. You could like does tells you some stuff about the website. It's pretty neat. It's got even a world map. Attracts characters and stuff, which is pretty sweet. And you know, this server is really great about having, um, you know, just perks for the players who uh, uh, put in time, or even I wouldn't say there's necessarily like a huge pay to win aspect, but you can definitely have a lot of fun, cool commands by uh, having a VIP subscription and stuff like that. I know I personally and not handle not having like my mail and bank you know on call with just a keyboard command but you know that's just me all right and so once you're in here and you have all the um updates installed and whatnot you're up to the most recent patch of uh wild mania's wrath of lich king model you just hit play <clears throat> And it'll open you right into the starting screen, which is like, um, looks like retail, but WoW Mania has it customized. And, uh, is it sizes? Alrighty, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like whenever you get your account logged into. Finally, Doka, logging in now. Seems to be working. 
All right, so okay, this is what it's gonna look like, except for you're gonna be in a full window mode. I play. I'm, I'm just I'm recording, so you know, you know, it'll just be. Um, it's gonna suggest that you join a realm, but there's only one realm, so you know, you only have one choice. Just um, obviously get on this realm, make yourself a character. Um, you know, reach out to uh, Matterai in game. Obviously, you can see all my character names. Matt's character names are all over the stream. If you guys need any help getting started or anything like that, we're going to be putting up a few videos soon about starting areas in the game and stuff to help out new players and stuff. Just make the, make the transition onto the new server that you're trying to play a little bit easier. And, um, you know, just give you a little bit of insight on all the cool things that WoW Mania has to offer. And, uh,. Just uh, reasons why maybe this server is going to be a good server for you. I know that I enjoy playing on it. I know that Matt enjoys playing on it. We've met a lot of cool people, a lot of good uh, people to raid with. We've got neat commands. We've got uh, VIP status for not even, it's like what, like six, six US dollars a month almost. Just nothing really. And you get some really cool perks. And uh, there's, a, there's a cool in-game currency that um, that you can get if you play regularly and you, you put in the effort, you know, it's, but, you know, as with any server, you can donate to the server to get yourself some uh, uh, special currencies, in-game goals, stuff like that. So not necessarily cheap by any means, but that's why, you you know, you hopefully you deter the pay-to-win mindset and stuff like that. But yeah, there's some cool stuff. So you just like check it out once you get all this figured out. And if you guys have any problems, um, I have a few more tips for you. I know you can um, you can try launching the game, the WoW Mania game, as an admin, as an administrator. So I'll show you how to do that really fast. Let me actually close this. Also, if you're having trouble launching it from the launcher, um, you can just find it in your file explorer. You can go here and then there's a WoW EXE. This is just so that you can keep up to date. Make sure the game is always the newest patch. You have access to the newest mounts, things like that. But in the case that it's not working, you come to your folder again, find the WoW EXE, right click it and hit run as administrator. And it'll say, um, do you want to allow the app to or an uh, unknown publisher to make changes to your device, and you're just gonna hit yes <clears throat> because Windows doesn't recognize the client necessarily because it's not a registered client. But then you can decide from here, and if the, like this is this should solve your problems. Another thing you're gonna want to make sure I don't personally use an antivirus program, but if you do have an antivirus program, which I think that mine will be defaulted to Windows Defender, which you know, if I could disable that, I would. Or I have Mc, Mc, McAfee or whatever. That thing never goes away. But it's I don't pay for it, so it's not active. So it's not doing its job blocking anything. But, you know, if you have to set that up, um, I can either put a link in the description for a uh, antivirus, um, I don't know, whitelist, I guess. Or I can just... Uh, Make another video over it at some point uh, after I download an antivirus and want to die. But thank you guys for watching this wonderful tutorial, and I hope it does help you get on the server. There is a page on the website dedicated to this. It's all written out. So if you're better at learning while reading and viewing pictures, I will have to throw some JPEGs up in this video to show you. A little bit more detail about what I'm talking about because I don't know if the recording software captures my cursor or not. But either way, um, I hope you guys enjoy this server. I'm going to be putting some recru recruit friend codes in the description, uh, which is going to let it's going to enable benefits with Matt and I's characters, or you know one or the other or whatever. But when you play with us, you'll be able to get levels faster through RAF for three months. And, you know, we would love to play with people who see this video, people who sub, people who watch our streams, people who are in our guild, whatever the case is, however you find us, uh, we always look forward to meeting new people and helping, a, helping people 
get through the starting zones and leveling progression of the server faster so they can start joining us in our raids on the weekends. So yeah guys, um, go ahead and uh, drop a like on this video and share it with anybody else having trouble getting on the server. And I appreciate you guys. Um, go ahead and check out the starting zone videos if you're having, if you want some insight before you get on or whatever. But uh, thanks, guys.